Welcome back. This is Eric from Cash and Cultura. Today I will dish out three tips on how you can potentially land product at Target or Walmart. I know it could seem impossible and I'm sure that you've already made several trips. However, if you follow these three small tips, you can potentially position yourself to land some product. Here's number one, set a routine. Now, we will have two routines. The first will be the experimental routine. In this phase, you will essentially create a routine to try to figure out the best days to land the product. And the second one is gonna be the final routine. This is when you already did all your research, you already went, you already figured it out and you already have a set routine of when you'll go to try to land some product. The experimental routine will basically be a routine that you set in a weekly time frame. Choose one week and make sure that in this week you have the availability to go out to the Targets and Walmarts. Make sure that you do not replace this experimental routine with the important things in your life, such as work, family time, or anything of that nature. Make sure that it's completely and only when you have available time. Example, before work. If you go into work at eight in the morning, then set up the slot at six in the morning. If you have a lunch and you don't have any commitments during that lunch, set up a time slot for lunch. If you don't have anything urgent or pressing right after work, then set up another slot after work. So that's already three slots in this example for that day. Now do that for the rest of the week. I would do it Monday through Friday. So that is 15 trips. So it's not gonna be easy, but if you figure this out, it will be worth it. If you are someone who loves to rip sports cards and can't find any product. The second thing is choosing the store. I would choose the store that is nearest to you, whether it's a Walmart or Target, it does not matter. Just choose a store. And the key is to make sure that it is near you. The reason I will choose one store is because this allows you to save resources gas costs, maintenance on your vehicle. Now, if you're a hardcore flipper and you wanna buy a lot of volume, then you could do this, but with many other stores, right? But this video is mainly for the hardcore collectors who live in towns where they're unable to find any product because it gets wiped out fast. So choose one store, go to that store Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and make sure that you hit that store during the slots that you set, and then follow number three. So the, the great thing about this simple and practical strategy is that you might not even have to go all days, but I would, and I'll tell you why. So you set your routine, you're going to hit up a Walmart that's three minutes away, at seven in the morning, at 12 in the afternoon, and at five in the afternoon. So it's Monday, your alarm goes off, you take off. You get there and it's empty. There's no one stocking. So where do you go from there, right? I would set up a threshold of time that you have and I would follow that. So if you only have 30 minutes to wait, then only wait 30 minutes and leave, right? But the important thing is that when you get there and you do not see anyone that you go ask for a front end manager or someone who works in the front and is very familiar with, you know, that front end of the store, because most of the time sports cards are stocked in, in the front of the store. So ask for that person. Do not be shy. You have to be vocal and make sure that you get someone who knows what they're talking about, because chances are if you go to a random worker, they might not be familiar because a lot of them get swapped around the store. Do your best to speak with a manager, ask them what time the vendor goes, what day, and they might give you the right answer, right? However, here is why you might wanna to stick to your schedule because the vendors tend to switch their times and their days. Even though they tell you, hey, they always come on Thursday and it's early in the morning, you might go on Thursday and they potentially went Wednesday or they might go Friday. So again, the important thing is to talk, network, talk to these people that work there. And if there's other people there looking for sports cards, talk to them. They are going to be a great resource and not just that, but it's awesome to meet new people who are in the hobby, especially if they're local to your town. I've met a lot of great people 
and it's it's been fun and awesome to bump into them when i'm trying to land and search for sports cards so those are the three tips create a routine for your experimental phase make sure that you create slots every day to go within that experimental week choose a walmart near you and when you go to the walmart you have to make sure that you ask questions and you speak to the people in that area the management the other collectors and you start getting more information about the stocking days and when the vendor goes so those are the three things and that if you follow that every day for that week it should allow you to set up a permanent routine right and if you want to hit if you want to do another experimental week for a different uh target or a different walmart that is a little bit further then you can do that but make sure that this does not interrupt your workday or anything that's important. That's why I would uh, much rather you split it up over a long period of time instead of trying to cram it in one week because it might conflict with a lot of important things and it's just not worth it. Now, here are some other details that you might want to consider and this is based on my experience so the best time to go is in the morning and it's before they open. So I went to a Walmart last week and I was there before they opened. It was at 645 and it's not the one from the video. Um, it's a different one. And I was early. I mean, I was the 10th person in line. Um, so I, I was feeling really confident. The line opens up and as I go to the sports card section, there's already three people there and there's a, a big guy that's just grabbing everything and just rushing to the self-checkout. The guy took everything and um, I was only able to get a Donruss box. So even if you go early, you might not land. Make sure that you go extra early because if you're a hardcore collector and you like to rip sports cards, then it'll be worth it. And last but not least, if you do run into the vendor, you have to make sure that you let them do their job, that you let them stock until they're done. And then you proceed to, you know, ask if they're done, you know, be respectful and then take whatever you're taking. So these are some details, some tips that have helped me be able to land some product. And this is what allows me to have those Robin Hood sales where I sell it back to the people at cost and I don't mark up. Please let me know if you have any specific questions about retail, about hunting, trying to land sports cards. I will do my best to answer your question. And if you don't have a question about retail, I would like some feedback or some recommendations of what type of videos you would like to see from me. So leave a comment below. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Stay tuned for the next video. See ya.